God has smiled on me. He has set me free. Oh, God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. Let's sing together. God has smiled on you. He has set you free. Whoa, God has smiled on you. He's been good to you. One more time. God has smiled on us. He has set us free. God has smiled on us. He's been good to Okay, guys. Again, get your word. Get you some word in your life. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read something for you. Let's see what we could get again out of the word. It's never enough. Never enough word, okay? Always yearn for the word. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about doubting God. I know we all go through that sometimes. We're like, Lord Jesus, what is going on, Father? I'm doubting you. I ain't got enough faith today. Mm -mm, today. Not today. But we should be saying, not today, Satan. Because that's what the devil wants. He wants us to be confused with certain hiccups and, and things. So don't fall for that. Don't doubt God. Okay. Okay, give me a second. Here we go. It says in the book of John, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. Hmm. What does that say? <laughs> Let's break that down real fast. In the beginning, in the beginning, was the Word. What's the Word? God's Word. And the Word, God Word, was with God. And the Word was God. So the Word is God. All things were made through him. Everything was made through him. All creations, the sky, the clouds, all things, the trees, our animals, grass, flowers, plants, everything. What else does it say? And without him, was not anything made that was made. So without God, nothing was made. Not you, not me, not this earth, nothing. In him, in God, was life. 
And the life was the light of men. The light. That light <laughs> of men. So Jesus is our light. He's our father. So how, how dare we doubt anything if he has the power to make the heavens and the earth, our trees, our plants, everything, even men with knowledge, enough intellect to make these man-made things. God did that. And without God, none of that is possible. So therefore, that brings you to the conclusion that the power that's within him has completed this entire universe. So why would we doubt him? Why would we doubt him? He's made everything. He knows everything. He knows what you're going through. So why do we doubt him? That's because we need to suppress our flesh and stop giving up so much power to the flesh. It's just the shell. And it's easier said than done. Don't I know I'm living in the flesh. You living in the flesh. We living in the flesh as people. We dealing with this in unity. But again, we have to look deep inside ourselves and know that God is not here to fail us. Our purpose is not to be failed and be failures. We are warriors and more than conquerors. You got to believe it, claim it and receive that. Stop doubting God because he doesn't doubt you. He's still waiting on you. So therefore, in any circumstance, trial, tribulation, error, as much energy as we give into for the ne negative, let's be intrigued and pour in our cup with the positive, with Jesus Christ. Let's stop doubting what our Savior has already done and what he can do and what he will do and what he's gonna do because when he does do it we're so quick to give oh my goodness emotion but then later on we act as if it's never happened before and then what does that do to our father who has emotion because if he didn't have emotion then our God wouldn't be a loving God nor would he be a jealous God. He knows what it feels like. So what are we really doing to, to our Father? If we take in consideration what we do to people sometime, even sometime, then we got to take in consideration what we do to God sometime. That's only logical, if you care. So let's start pouring in more effort and energy into the light of God instead of doubting them. Until next time, you guys, y'all stay blessed. Keep Jesus first. Keep your salvation alive. Good night.